Suzanne is 22 and has been a Muslim for two years. She decided to get married five months after converting to Islam and now has a baby daughter. I never even thought, you know, in my younger days that I'd even think about becoming a Muslim. And I just started thinking, well, there's got to be more to life than going out and, you know, working as just what I was doing. And it went from there, I started questioning everything, really. I wanted uh, proofs. You know, and Islam was the, really the only religion that could offer me proofs of that. Um, and I asked and all the questions, all the questions which I needed to, you know, ask were answered over the course of about three months. And then it was just a case of taking that step. As my husband, Imran, fulfills the rights of housing your wife, yeah, providing a house for paying, I don't pay anything towards the rent or if you buy a house, yeah, uh, all my clothes Imran buys, I mean, that doesn't mean to say I can't go out and buy my own, of course, yeah, but that is a right of the Muslim woman that she's provided for, and the fact that Imran should, I mean, the Prophet used to help his wives in the household, and that should really be shown also, yeah, which Imran does, of course, not many people would think uh, that a Muslim man would do that, you know, help out his wife and look after the baby. Uh, because people don't actually see Islam for what it is. They tend to see the stereotypes, the cultures. In many cultures, the men won't do things like that. You know, the woman will probably, possibly even be oppressed in certain cultures. But that's the difference between culture and Islam. And in Islam, you know, the woman is not oppressed in any way. Um, which is it's just a big stereotype that needs to be broken down, really.